Hey, what's up guys? This is GM Ren, another RPG Monday with The Witcher 3. So last time I left off, I picked an outfit and now it seems we are ready to go see His Majesty. Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Right, there was no, uh, no other color I could pick. Guess so. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. <laughs> away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh man, I have to actually do this. Right leg forward. Is it the right leg? Hmm. <laughs> Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of North. You look more like a dab. Come with me. <laughs> The gentleman will address the emperor only when asked to. And well, using you the can't get rid of my witcher sensors. For arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Grimmy at art cancer. Dyfen Aden in Khan Eb Marvut. Emir Var Emreis. Ow. Come on, Jero. He looks so disgusted. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer Eb the Order. Oh, that's interesting. He trusts me to be along with I him. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. <laughs> Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. She does not look happy in that picture. find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. Oh. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. I guess I have to say why me. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. It's kind of weird state, that... As always. That she's his daughter. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Mm. 
Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Ciri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Well, I am interested in keeping Siri out of trouble. Keeping her safe. Follow me if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. What if I don't please to follow you? Oh, really? Heravat the second. Man, I do not like palaces and royalty. Any of this. I'm just like Gerald in, in this regard. I just realized they've got me forced in the walking animation. Okay, so let's go. Still stuck walking. As a scribe. The authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. But the Church of the Eternal Fire it's an ambassador and the criminal underworld. I'm gonna be Snoopy for a bit. Huh, I can actually loot these things, but I'm not going to. Please wait, Your Excellency. Falling behind. You know this game is a little bit different from uh, Skyrim, which is what I'm used to playing. You can loot stuff, and it won't tell you that you're stealing. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. <sighs> Dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now Jennifer looks pretty stunning in that outfit too. Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So she's a four witcher now. Huh. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice, so please, let's not belabor the pros and cons, and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the Is it just me, or did some lights just go out? It's hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri. Using locating spells, haruspacy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. 
One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Yo, yeah, why didn't you contact me One earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's ah. drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Okay, so that's what happened. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... She was just you talking really about not using the magic. Velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right. So I can talk to the ambassador. He seemed, uh... Wow. I just have to look at that real quick. That was so cool. That was super cool. So again, I'm stuck in a uh, walk animation. It's kind of interesting. I'm uh, I play Shadowrun a lot, and in Shadowrun, magic has the same type of um, cost associated with it. It's powerful, but it's it can be tracked by other magicians. So I just thought that was interesting. Yennefer says she has to stop tracking her with magic because the wild hunt noticed. Directly out of Nordling tales. Inconceivable. Sorry, there for a second, my controller Ambassador disconnected. Barantra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war, and so on. Of course, the Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Hmm. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. Whoa. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. 
They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. War is a very interesting topic. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Okay. Let's avoid this uh, bloody Baron Philip guy. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. So Novigrad is a free city. is in city. Oxenford. And the Emperor is here in Vizima. At Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. So we do have idea, other cruelty, cynicism, greed. Humanoids here. What is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's this Skellige? What's new in Skellige? Skellige. Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. United <laughs> all might prove difficult. Okay. Thanks Spun us help. up on the world Think a little bit. Of it. May the great sun light your path. That's, that's kind of fun. I can loot books too. How might I serve the gentleman? 
by returning my things. <laughs> Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. One false move and you will regret it. Oh, well, thanks for the threat. So, according to the map, there is something over is here. It true? Northern women bathe but once every three moons. That guard. I mean, that guy. I'm not interested in talking to any nobleman. And I did hear that that Tina little uh, comment of his. It's a bit rude. Huh. Blacksmith? I wonder if I can get anything from him. Oh, actually, that's no blacksmith. Will someone explain to me why you are here? Will somebody explain to me why they're hitting a stone in the middle of a room? As a matter of fact, can I ask them? Any tidings from Vizima? Not humans. Huh. Well, I guess they're working on something. Okay, so this is like a local map. Press Y to view the continent. I'm gonna ignore that quest. I'm not interested in helping any Nilfgaard nobles right now. So why is to switch from region to world map? Ah, oh, this is beautiful. So where I came from is probably, um... Was it White Orchard? Yep, this is where I came from, White Orchard. How do I go back? I want to see the regional map. Okay, so I'm level 3 now. I'll do the level up soon. It's kind of cool that they do have suggested levels for visiting certain regions but you're still apparently able to go so that's cool I can ask for a bit more of a challenge by visiting a higher level region sooner so we need to go to Velen suggested at level 5 It's a little weird that that's my next destination. I'm only level three. Maybe they expected me to do more quests. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'll just go. If I'm outmatched, I'm outmatched and I'll leave and go somewhere else. What do you mean I can't fast travel from here? That's literally the door that I need to go go to. And this is literally the place I need to be. Man, these regions are huge too. Oh, of course, now I can fast travel. If it doesn't work, just try it twice. 
and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Oh, I know what happened. Actually, the, the time that they denied me, I was not accessing the door. I was in my world map. The game is not at fault. This is a pretty open area so far. There's lots of crows, so probably lots of death. Yep. I honestly found out that saying that specific word may be something that flags for demonetization. Oh, I got the griffin head still. Run, Roach. Okay, so first quest of Hearts of Stone. They only recommend starting it if I'm at level 30. And I'm at level 3 right now, so how about we don't? New craftsman, arcane knowledge. That sounds interesting. So there's a room, right? Blood of wine. A poet under pressure quest. Okay. Alright, so what's new around here? Yes, I'll go visit the notice board first. This is apparently my active quest, but let's make sure that's not um, let's make sure that's not one of the expansions. So this is really what I think what I was supposed to be doing. I'm in Vela now, so that's why that's my active quest, and I guess this is just a bigger quest. So I guess I'll just go to the end. It's a little bit south, I'm already facing the right direction. Seems to be a lot of enemies over there, I'm not gonna touch them just yet. Hmm. Yep, ugly enough for me to just outright ignore. Maybe I should send me around to the window is tight. I catch something an iron stud in the door frame. Only I had more telling at the doorstep. That be sure to keep the demons away. What are you looking at? The old woman on the ground. People crying. I can actually remember if this is the place that um, they were saying had been ravaged or not. Ah, I got off at the wrong place. There is a notice board here, but it's not the one I'm looking for. You talking to me? Come on, Roach. Then both forces attacked. One from either side. Step away. Chaplin's praying. Can't you see? Yeah. Yeah. Sure thing. That's kind of funny. They're, they're telling me step away. He's like, nah, don't don't be like that. Why do you have servants that are so discriminatory? Whoa! Uh, somebody apparently needs some help. Guess I'll check it out. Oh. 
Man, I forgot how to cast signs, and I'm probably about to die. Yep. Hopefully I have an autosave pretty recent, because I don't know when the last autosave was. I should have honestly just saved it when I got here. So there you go, my first death in this game on camera. Yeah, sometimes I come back to this game and I'm a little bit rusty. I was trying to cast a sign. Alright, cool. So, just skip through this stuff again. And looking at the time, this is actually a good time to stop. I'll probably um, change a little bit of what I do the next time. Next week. But, um... Thanks for watching. I'll I'll catch you guys next time.